What is going on everybody, welcome back to Civilization 6 as Grand Columbia, nearly forgot who we were playing as, that wouldn't have been good. We're back down to the sort of normal episodes now of just 15 minutes, but yeah, well, here we are, and we're at war with Sweden still, since they rudely attacked us, but yeah, it's going well so far, at least, you know, we're not really under threat, it's just, I've lost a few units by being a bit silly, but you know, all around, nothing too bad, and obviously so far so good, we had a pretty successful war against Poland prior to that, so... Well, very successful. They don't even exist anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. We did lose one of our settlers, which sucks. It went to the city-state. I don't know if I'll be able to retrieve it. I think it converts to a builder anyway, so I don't think we'll... We won't be able to get a settler back, but we might get something back. And I'm trying to upgrade, but we don't have much money to upgrade our units. But, oh, we actually killed that catapult. Nice. Um, Yeah, there is some units to be upgraded, but I just don't really have the, the gold. Which is kind of annoying, but we haven't really built many commercial hubs, and our production sucks, and there's so many things to complain about, but that's not right. Two gold on any of these tiles. Nice. Well, this one's like seems like the least useful. I have to buy it, damn it. <laughs> okay, this one, no no bonus there, of course. Yep. Right. Uh, I mean, that one's available, so we'll stick it there. That was the same. Uh, rebuild that farm, it's more valuable. There we go. No, wait, is that? There's no farm on this tile, and it's already given four food. I don't know how that's happening. There must be something going on that I'm not aware of. Some extra bonus. Okay, we'll try to save this archer. Got a workshop coming, which is good for production. Or at least spare us a little bit. But we'll keep these archers around. But like I said, we, oh, Brazil is captured. We must restore its independence. No, no, we don't have to. <laughs> don't have to do that at all. all right, we're arriving at this marble, which is where I wanted to settle, which is good. Got another builder here who's made it to some sort of safety. I think our religion is pretty much gone. I mean, I, I founded one, but I, it looks like, oh no, it's still just about here, but not much. We actually have 800 faith. Maybe I should be purchasing some missionaries, I guess, to try bring it back. But yeah, it's not having the best time as a religion. Obviously, I was trying to buy settlers with it as well, just instead, because it looks like Japan's just a lot more focused on spreading their own religion than we are. So obviously, they're going to have a bit of an advantage there. Let's just bring our units back. If we stay within the Commandante General's range here, we get some bonuses. Oh, okay, so the forest fire is actually near our land. I did not know this. It's reached... Was this... I think this was just a, a forest. I don't think it was a... Re yeah, which, this could get quite bad, but... Uh, I'm not going to propose anything, but we'll see what happens. Oh, wait, these are actual votes. Okay, no to Brazil. One yes to India. We must vote on all proposals. Oh, and big no to this one. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I like how the emergency was over the smaller city that they forward settled right next to me. Okay, so passed here. So this did pass, sadly. Um, Robert the Bruce. Oh, wait, Scotland said no. Wait, is this me? Wait, what? I said no. So where did I get Scotland said no? I just misread that. And Japan put two yeses on. And apparently we're at war with Japan now. Okay, well that, that adds to the to the drama, I guess. Wasn't prepared for that to just happen. We were good friends, and then all of a sudden, we were actually declared friends. So he's going to suffer some big penalties, I would assume, for that. But that's his choice, I guess. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm going to try and make a peace deal with Sweden, because I don't really want to be fighting both at the same time, ideally. There we go. Um, okay, so we've got some missionaries. Let's spread those. Let's try and keep our religion somewhat alive. <laughs> it's always a good place to start, isn't it? I thought another settler had been captured then. I was about to cry. No, we're good. It's here. Right. Sweden. Make peace. Should we just end this here? I don't know if they'll give me... Can you just give me some money? No. Okay, well, let's just have a peace deal, please. End it there. We'll be stronger than them in the future, I think. Hopefully. So yeah, now we just got to focus on Japan, which is different. I don't really know where they're going to attack us from. I assume this city is going to be sort of the taking the brunt of the attack. But I don't, I don't really know where exactly they're going to come from in this one. And yeah, I'm kind of nervous. There is a lot of forest. This forest fire could get very bad. If we're not careful, if we don't keep an eye on it, obviously there's a lot of just sort of unwork. I don't think it can spread onto the sort of work tiles, but that wouldn't make a lot of sense, so maybe it can, but like I said, I'm not 100% certain. But yeah, here we go, we will kind of spread our religion, try and 
bring it around. Um, maybe try and break up some of these forests, like just reduce the amount of forest. It looks like it's stopped anyway, but try and break it up so that they're not as connected. I really need gold. I need commercial hubs in these big cities or a market in Bogota. That would be perfect. Right, Poznan, can you build me a district? Apparently not, because you have a holy site. Right, let's get a water mill. Okay, right, I probably need to send some units towards the Japanese cities, I guess. We also have another far out city over there. I didn't really think of that one. Hopefully that one's doing okay. Probably going to settle on the wheat, just so we do have some food. That should be pretty good. I think, are we at peace with these guys now? Is that how it works? Yes. Okay, good. How do we get out of this? There we go. Okay, well that's fine. There we go. Keep your distance. Ooh. Now Scotland's threatening us. Not been, I haven't declared any wars here. You know, Poland attacked me, you know, I just responded very aggressively. Uh, but, you know, I don't think I did anything particularly wrong. So we're leading for science. How are we doing on demographics? I mean, they're working, so let's have a look. Ottomans not having a good time, obviously. I, I don't know what they are up to. Something obviously went badly wrong there. Population, we are seventh, which is last effectively, because I think there was ten. Oh no, sorry, maybe maybe there's one more. Second last, because the Ottomans are last, and then Poland is dead, so eighth place would be last, right? But in theory, so someone's got less than us, just over the average there. Um, soldiers were second, which is quite nice. Crop yield second, GMP fourth, land first, and goods fourth. And obviously, having the second highest crop yield means our population will probably start to catch up. A lot of our cities are finally starting to grow a little bit, to be fair. So we might start to notice some of that. Now these units should be able to get over here fairly quickly with their additional movement. I don't see Japan contributing, you know, they're not they're not super going after us here. It's not not been a disaster just yet. I'm gonna try and convert these cities at least away from Buddhism, even if we don't even if we don't um convert them all over to our religion. At least get them away from Buddhism. I don't know, is it worth going after a city? Should we like try conquer a sake? What is that? That looks huge. That's obviously a wonder, so I assume Japan's capital's around here. I'm tempted to like grab a city, show them who's boss, you know, if we can. I mean, if it's available, let's just see what sort of damage we can do with an archer. Probably not much. An archer is very outdated at this point, yeah. That was probably not the right move. But it's fine, we're just having a look. Right, open civics tree. Where are we up to? So we missed these two somehow. That didn't really matter. Naval tradition is not super important because we were nowhere near the coast. Um, this is obviously what Japan is building. Yeah, I think they're going to overrun us with the religion thing, but whatever. I want to get it because it doesn't unlock alliances plus the other government types, which we are going to need at some point. And we get another governor title. 20% production towards districts. That will be useful to pass around when I am building districts, so we'll go ahead and get that. I do want to get more commercial hubs at the moment. Those are the focus point. I think for what we need the most, I'm still, I'm finally building that campus I wanted to get the plus four science. We need to defend our city for 27 turns to win the emergency against Japan. That should be pretty easy. The only downside to that being an emergency is I don't think they'll peace out, right? They might not peace out earlier. But I think beyond that, we should be good. I don't know where this arch is actually going right now. Settler can't cross. Okay, these turns all just merge into one. <laughs> Volcanic eruption. Where is this? Okay, that's over here. That did some big damage to Sweden. Oh, okay, so Akkad, the city-state, is fighting us as well. So that's a little bit annoying, but all round, not not a disaster, right? It, it's it's manageable. Um, Pikeman, decisive victory. Wasn't quite the kill, but it was fairly close. I feel like we're not getting extra movement on those roads, but maybe I'm just being a bit a bit judgmental there. Oh, we could have sent this Commandante General, but there is one here who is promoting everyone. This city doesn't have walls, so it can't shoot back, so I can actually stand here and do just fine. Um, right, shoot at this archer. Shoot at this arch. No, you're not going to do it. You're just going to ignore my orders this whole time. There we go. Shoot at them. Do a lot of damage as well. Which is extra nice. Spearmen can go and kill them. Boom. The pikemen have already been. I don't think the warrior can quite get far enough. But there we go. That moves us away from the other archer. So it won't be shooting me. And annoying me. Right. And there we go. We move over that river. We have not boosted anything. Which kind of sucks. But. Yeah. It happens. 
We are losing three diplomatic favor. Is that just forever? Is that is that just permanent? That we're going to lose three diplomatic favor for occupying the original capital? Because that seems harsh. Like, that basically would render... Uh, no wonder the AI never declares war. Like, that literally would explain everything. Because in the AI's head, they just would never do it if that's the condition. Right, there's a few more missionaries. Can spread our religion a little further. Like I said, it's going to be a really difficult game for religion because... Due to a mistake by me, every, there's more. There's twelve religions basically. Obviously, there's not twelve sieves, but every sieve who wanted a religion, I think, could have got one. Although this suggests that might not be the case. I think if you actually go in the religion menu, it does say seven out of twelve. So yeah, I think anyone can have one. I don't know what beliefs are still available. But yeah, I don't think there's anyone stopping any other sieves from gaining access to a religion either. Spearmen do some damage. Wow, you can move all the way over there. Okay, but you are now going to get attacked by that city, so a bit of a trade-off. Got some more archers coming. I don't think they can do anywhere near enough damage to the city, but... Oh, well. It's all a bit of fun, I guess. Everyone's trying to convert. You can see Sweden's here as well. I just converted the wrong city. But there we go. We do convert our religion a little bit better. There we go. It's starting to be in sub-present in some of our cities, which is all around what we want. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it's going to be very difficult. There's just plenty of religions and stuff. To compete with. All right, you finally <laughs> settle Kumana. First city on the con continent of Amasia. Awesome. And this is going to give us some resources, some iron for the first time, some plenty of marble, and also a lot of, um, there's a few cows around it as well, so that's quite useful. And a governor title, promotion. This city's improvement buildings and districts cannot be damaged by the environment, can build fisheries. I think we should appoint somebody else. Right, increased city garrison strength, can be assigned to a city-state, religious pressure is 100% from the city, 50% yields from plot harvests, acquire news tiles, in 3 gold per turn for each foreign trade route. I think we should get that. Now, I don't know if our foreign, where are our foreign trade routes even going? No idea. Um, Bogota to Rio. So, I mean... I doubt it's going through any, but if I put it in Caracas, there's, that's the only one where it might potentially be worth putting them. Uh, governor, no, that's great people. Governor, assign to Caracas there. There we go. Which is actually one of our better cities. It's just out of the way, so I keep forgetting about it. But yeah, that is over there. So to bear in mind. A little bit worried that Brazil will get it at some point, but hopefully not. Yeah, so far so good against Japan. Survive? No, we did lose one unit. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. That was my mistake. A dust storm. I'm enjoying that they're not as common in this series as they are in the apocalypse mode. <laughs> for Civ, yeah, for the Mayans that we're playing as, because that is like, that is just awful. There are so many, just all the time, getting hit with these disasters. Yeah, a few more units coming over. He says we have the strongest military in the world, but we certainly don't doesn't feel like it. Production, there we go, out of mine. Uh, you come over here too. I don't know where, what Sweden's religion is because Japan's Buddhism's made it all the way over here as well and it's in our capital. Oh, and there's a samurai just coming out of nowhere. I have no units to protect against that, but it should be able to do too much on its own. Obviously, I just need to make sure it doesn't steal away all my barbarians. Now, hang on, promotion available. Well, I will take that. Um, course and the pikemen will have a big advantage against them the archer gets a nice bonus actually against from the commandante general you can't quite shoot from there but cross the river shoot the skirmisher with that extra bonus nice you get a kill stay there um right warrior heal okay good choose production where is this I think is this poznan here can't build a district so i guess we'll get a temple for now prove our faith right this archer can come try find that samurai uh, these missionaries can sort of go to, go somewhere safer, please. I'll try and convert this city. Should be... It might happen quite quickly, but either way, yeah, we need to sort of remove that samurai unit that I imagine is quite strong. Uh, yeah, look at that. It did a fraction of whatever damage I would have hoped it would have done. So that's pretty scary. We do have a horseman over here who can come over and help out. So that will hopefully stop them from progressing too much into damaging us okay i don't have that much gold at all which is really bad but i need to get some iron so there we go we'll get that 
that's useful. This missionary cannot go, so I don't know why it's telling me to go. <laughs> I don't know what it, the game thinks it's doing there, but there we go. So far, so good. Japan's military, 151. Ours is apparently 265. I guess if it was all together, maybe, but it, yeah, it doesn't feel that strong. And we are certainly, and certainly not technologically strong either. Now we can promote for these land and naval units extra strength, and I can use that this turn. Um, on this samurai, and this one can shoot as well. Although I think they're going to die now, so that was maybe a mistake. This pikeman can come all the way through and attack, which is great. Although they took an... Oh, how strong are these samurai? That's insane. How are they just bulldozing through like that? Okay. Um, let's bring the warrior around here, and they can attack too. I imagine they're going to die. No, but the samurai so low, I don't think they'll risk attacking any of my units now. This one's still here, we'll give them the promotion again to do a little bit more damage. We know that the horseman's going to get absolutely wrecked if he attacks too soon, so let's be careful there. Um, but there we go, major defeat, yeah. Oof. Oh, they actually died, wow. That unit is a lot stronger than I thought it would be. Okay, I'm going to try to sneak the missionaries around the back there. Let's go grab this marble resource, nice. Right, capital, still can't build an extra district. Oh, we already have a commercial hub here. Get me that new trader that you've just unlocked. Four turns, nice. Grab that. You should finally bring in some sort of money for us. That'd be nice. All of our cities are getting big, but they're just not really. They're all the set. They're all six population. Nice. It's a big chain. Um, but that will be it for this episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well. Can't kill it. Come on. Oh, so close. Okay, just retreat for now. Oh, there's one there. Get him. Our archers a lot stronger. Yep, there we go. Just kill them. We do get that Commandante General bonus. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.